If you build interfaces in Health Connect Cloud using the management portal, you can easily use source control and commit changes using the Git UI plugin. We will illustrate this approach by following Joe, an interface engineer who creates a new business process in the management portal and adds it to source control for his organization's deployment of Health Connect Cloud. With source control, Joe and his team can better collaborate on their projects while tracking changes and version history. Joe's organization uses a three-tiered setup of Health Connect Cloud. They have dev, test, and prod deployments with associated protected branches in GitLab for source control. As an interface engineer, Joe cannot commit changes directly into the dev branch. His organization's workflows ensure that only approved changes are merged into the dev branch from individual feature branches. So Joe will need to take a few steps to get his changes into the dev branch. He will first create a feature branch to develop his business process, then connect to that branch via the management portal in his own namespace. Next, he will commit changes to his feature branch, staying within the user interface, and eventually create a merge request to roll the work he has done into the dev branch. Joe can also use environment branches to see how his business process fits into a deployment of his organization's dev environment. Let's follow this process, which starts with creating a new branch in GitLab. This allows you to work on a specific feature or component without affecting the main code base of your integration. Within your GitLab repository, navigate to the Branches page and click New Branch to create a feature branch. We'll name this branch Create BP2 to signify that we are creating a new business process. In the Create From dropdown, select Development to create this branch from the current dev branch and click Create Branch. Now that we have created a feature branch, let's open the management portal on the dev deployment of Health Connect Cloud to make some changes via the user interface. First, ensure that you are in a namespace that is suitable for integration work. You should not use the primary namespace on the dev deployment because it is updated each time the source control pipeline merges a change into the dev branch, potentially overwriting any changes you have made. Instead, you can work in your own personal namespace, as Joe does in this example. Your organization can decide its own approach for using namespaces, but it's common to do integration work in personal namespaces. The next step is to configure the Git UI plugin in the management portal to map integration files to the correct folder in your GitLab repository. Click the icon for the Git UI plugin at the top of the production configuration area and select Settings from the options. These settings relate to the Git project this plugin is referencing. For each namespace where you use the Git UI plugin, you will need to update the first mapping. This mapping uses CLS slash by default, but it should instead be SRC slash to ensure Health Connect Cloud class files are mapped into the SRC folder in GitLab. This folder is used to keep the GitLab repositories in sync with the deployments and namespaces that run your productions. Scroll down and click Save once you have made this change. Users will only need to update this once for each namespace. Next, let's connect this namespace to the Create BP2 branch that was created to work on this feature. From the Git UI dropdown, select Git Web UI. On the left side of the Git Web UI window, you will see sections for local branches and remote branches. Select the feature branch you are currently working on from the list of remote branches. Then click Checkout Branch to attach this branch to your current namespace. In this case, the Joe namespace. Changes made in this namespace can be committed to the Create BP2 branch. Close the Git Web UI settings window to return to the production screen. Now it is time to make some changes to this interface. In this example, we will create a new business process. Let's name it BP2. We can commit this change to the Create BP2 branch using the Git UI plugin. Click the icon for the plugin and this time select Commit. When prompted, enter a description for this commit that will help you identify it, indicating the type of change you are committing. Then click OK. The change has been committed to the local branch, but it has not yet been pushed to your repository. To push this commit, click the icon for the Git UI plugin and select Push. You will not see an obvious acknowledgement of success, but this commit has been pushed to the Create BP2 branch. Let's return to GitLab to verify this by opening the Commits page in your repository. By filtering the commits to your Create BP2 branch, you can see that this latest change, adding new business process BP2, has been committed to source control. However, this commit has not yet been made on the development branch. In the primary namespace tied to the dev branch, the BP2 process is missing because the change has only been introduced on the feature branch. Merging this feature branch into the dev branch will eventually allow BP2 to be a part of the primary production. To do this, create a merge request in GitLab.
First, open the Merge Requests page in your repository. Then click New Merge Request and select your source and target branches. In this case, the source branch is your feature branch, Create BP2, and Development is your target branch. Click the button to compare branches and continue. On the New Merge Request page, you can write a description for this merge request and define other settings, such as the assignee, reviewer, project milestone, or other labels. Additionally, you may want to delete the source branch after completing the merge, or squash the commits into a single commit for a cleaner commit history. This will take all of the commits that have happened since the last merge and condense them into a single commit for the purposes of this merge. Note that this may reduce your ability to selectively promote changes later, so you may not always want to do this. Finally, you can preview the changes introduced by this merge under the Changes tab at the bottom of the Merge Request page. When you are satisfied with the proposed changes, click Create Merge Request. You may initially see that a pipeline failed for your feature branch, but this is normal. GitLab tries to deploy all branches to appropriate namespaces in Health Connect Cloud. For example, the dev branch is deployed automatically to the primary namespace mentioned earlier. Pipelines for feature branches will fail since those branches don't have a corresponding namespace. This merge request is now ready to be completed, pending any approval workflows at your organization. Typically, someone acting as the maintainer of code promotion would need to review and approve this request. In this example, we will complete the merge right away, deleting the source branch in the process. To do so, click Merge. Since the pipeline for the feature branch failed, you will be asked to confirm you want to merge the changes that failed. This is normal for feature branches. You can proceed and click Merge Unverified Changes. And with that, the merge request has been completed. Viewing the branches in the repository, you can now see that the Create BP2 branch is gone and the development branch shows the recent merge in its activity. Returning to the primary namespace in the management portal, you can see that BP2 is now a part of the production in the learning namespace following this merge. In addition to feature branches, you can use environment branches and pipelines in your Health Connect Cloud integration work. Environment branches can be used to deploy code from specific branches to corresponding namespaces in Health Connect Cloud. Whenever a branch is created or modified in GitLab, the CI-CD pipeline checks to see if a namespace on the Health Connect Cloud deployment matches the name of that branch. If so, GitLab will deploy the contents of the branch to the namespace, creating a synchronized environment. Let's see an example. This learner namespace in Health Connect Cloud has no business processes in it, indicating that it is not synchronized with Joe's work to add components. If we create a branch called Learner based on the dev branch, GitLab will automatically deploy this new branch to the corresponding namespace, giving us an environment that matches the dev environment. To create the branch, navigate to the branches page and enter the name, in this case, Learner. Select Development as the branch to create it from. Refreshing the interface in the Learner namespace, we can see that the components from the new Learner branch have been instantly deployed to this Learner namespace. Moreover, by viewing this branch in GitLab, we can see that the pipeline for this branch passed, unlike the feature branch from earlier. Environment branches provide an easy way to deploy different versions of your code base to specific namespaces for testing. You have now seen how to work in the Health Connect Cloud user interface to commit changes to source control, create and merge branches in GitLab, and deploy environment branches to corresponding namespaces.